Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. My name's Barbara, and as you can see from the title of today's video, I did a full face of products I've either recently hauled or digging through my stash I realized I hadn't used in a while. This is the look that I came up with, and I cannot wait to show you guys how I got it. Before we get into the video, if you want to see more content, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time that I upload. I upload twice a week. I do tutorials. I do hauls. Your girl loves makeup, and I love fitness. So if that's what you're into, you're going to love the channel. If you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so to save some time, I'm starting off with my brows done. I am still using my Benefit Corral, and I like cleaning them up with my Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Butterscotch, and I like this one because it's really close to my skin tone. All my other concealers are really light, so I don't think that looks good when I'm doing my brows just to clean them up. For primer. I've used this off camera, but I don't think I showed it, but I didn't use it. Anyway, this is the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. It looks like this. I showed it to you guys and then ended up using something else. This is in the shade, it just says Glow. I bought this a while back when there was a sale at CVS, I think, on all of their Physician's Formula stuff. It was like 40% off. Physician's formula is expensive for the drugstore, so I was just like, I'm not doing it. This is what the primer looks like. First start putting it on, and it's like, okay, Tin Man, where you going? But it all comes together. I normally put this on before I do my eyebrows, but I wanted you guys to see how it looks applying it. We are going to start with the eyes today because I'm using a new eyeshadow palette. This is really what made me want to film. I hauled this a while back, and by the time y'all see the hauls, nine times out of ten, this stuff's been sitting for a while even before then, so this is long overdue. This is the Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties palette. Love the packaging on this. This I got during the VIB sale, actually. When it first came in, it was shattered. This shade and this shade were actually broken. This was completely shattered. This was cracked. Sent it back, ordered another one, was grateful that this one came in okay. I'm going to do a purple look, but it's going to be a little different because it's not going to have the pink tone to it as much. It's going to be more of a berry cool toned purple. So I'm going to start with my NARS eyeshadow base. I have other ones, but I like these because of the color. I need to try my, um. I have the Urban Decay Primer Potions. I bought those so long ago. I have those and my MAC paint pots. And I probably need to pull those out and start using those more. I just, you know how when you know something works for you, you just want to use it? That's kind of where I am with this. And honestly, it is 7.43 p.m. So I'm not in the mood to try something new. Well, all this stuff is new. So that doesn't make sense, but whatever. I want one thing that I know is gonna work right, if that makes any sense. So that's why I'm sticking with this. All right, so I'm not gonna set this with any powder. I'm just kind of gonna let it dry down by itself. I'm gonna start off with the shade Last Caress, which is this one here. It's a little intimidating because it looks very dark but I kind of like when eyeshadows look dark to start off with. It's less, I just feel like I don't have to do as much work. I'm gonna start with that and just put that in my crease. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a cool tone look. I love Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows and I'm kind of ashamed 
that I only have this palette and then one of their stacks. I bought the Dark Matter stack years ago. I still have it and yes, I still use it. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is because I like the, oh Lord, don't make me lie to y'all about these names, 27. I like the, was it a Smoke Sessions? They had like all their weed inspired ones for a while, marijuana, however you wanna call it. I love the shades in those, but I was just like, you already have green, you already have this, and I talked myself out of them. I'm gonna go in next with the shade Mean Streak, which is this dark purple here. The one on the end, Lost Control, does have a bit of a sheen to it. So this is the darkest matte. We're just gonna start with that in the crease. Ooh, that's dark. Oh, I'm so glad I got this palette. This one is dark and like, I don't even have to dip back in. The color's just spreading and blending so well. Trying to see if I have any fallout yet. I don't think I do, which is surprising considering how dark this is. I'm gonna go back around the edge and blend with Last Caress. I'm gonna do something a little different for this look. I am actually going to use, I think I'm gonna stick with all mattes. I don't know yet. Clearly y'all already know cause you saw the intro, but I'm gonna go in with Total Immortal and I'm actually going to do a little, little, little tiny cut crease, a little, little, just because I really wanna see how this color is gonna look. on its own, sorry. I always do that. Mid thought, I just stop because I expect y'all to know what I'm about to say. All right, so I'm just taking a flat brush and I'm gonna pack, ooh. Get that color. This on my lid. This is kinda, I know, I know, I know that it is not as like neon, but it's kind of giving me the Natasha Denona, I forgot which color, that purple. It's giving me those vibes. God, that is so pigmented. I mean, I kind of knew, but... Ooh, okay. All right, I'm gonna go back on the edge and then to blend here, I don't wanna go back with the darkest color. I'm gonna take just to go a little more of the berry direction, I'm gonna take She's in Parties. I'm gonna go back over it with Sleepwalk, which is this one right next to it. I'm just trying all the colors, y'all know how I do. And then I'm just bringing that into the middle a little bit just to help blend everything out. And then I'm gonna go back with Mean Streak, our darkest shade. I just couldn't help it, guys. I had to do some shimmer. Oh, I'm so predictable. All right, we're gonna stop right here with the eyes and I'm gonna move on to face and then come back and finish like I normally do. Like I said, I don't see any fallout at all from the palette, so that is always good. I was so tempted 
I'm gonna swatch these two colors for you guys right here just because I want you to see. I was so tempted to go in with those shades, but I behaved. This first one, those are the two shades there. The first one's almost kind of like a duochrome-ish kind of pink purple. And then the other is just this really sparkly purple, but you can see the duochrome in this one here. So of course I was tempted to do that, but I did not and I'm proud of myself. All right, we're gonna move into face and I have two foundations. One is the Lorac Pro Soft Focus Longwear Foundation. This one's in the shade 21 Dark. And then the other, I got this one on sale for $10 and it's originally like 40. This is the Smith & Colt Veil Threat Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation. <laughs> I don't know about these shades, guys. Y'all know I'm gonna make it work, but I guess I'm gonna do, mm. okay, we're gonna go with the Lorac. Final answer. This is a little runny, as you can see. This smells weird. It smells sweet, almost like a syrup. Okay, this color is not as off as I thought it was gonna be. Y'all know I like my foundations darker and I do like them a little red, so this is right up my alley. I wonder if this is, it says soft focus, but I wonder if it's like mattifying. I didn't, I didn't threw the box away. Didn't really read before. So this is one coat. Covers pretty well, actually. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna put a second layer just to see how it builds up. I'm pretty sure this is matte because I feel like it dried down pretty fast. This is almost a full pump. I don't think I put a full pump on my cheeks the first time. I don't like the smell of this. That is my only complaint. It has a really, really sickly, almost sweet smell. I don't know what is in it that is making it smell that way, but definitely not a favorite. I mean, at the end of the day, if it wears well, cool, but it's very pretty. I mean, you can see it covered really, really well. Like, I don't see my, I don't really see my dark spots. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I decided to try this one today. Tonight. <laughs> Does anybody else film this late? Like this is not normal for me. Sometimes if I'm doing it like right after work, I'll film at around like five, but this late, no. All right, so this is two pumps on my cheeks. But I like how this looks so far, very promising. We're gonna go in next with my concealer. Now, I do have something else I wanna try. I got a sample of the Becca Color Corrector. This is the Brightening Corrector. This might not be the best idea because this is in the shade light to medium, and this is like super light. It's supposed to be kind of like a peach and I know they have a darker one, but this is the shade that came in the trial kit that I got. This is brightening because it has a little bit of a sheen to it, if I can get my nail in here. Just spreading it out on my hand. If you can see, like that's what it looks like, and I barely dipped in it, but it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit right where I have darkness in the corners and then use my concealer. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I took this out to use it. This is my Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. I haven't used it on camera, but I have used it. Guys, I absolutely love it. It's crazy because it has this kind of cooling effect, like a mint, and it's supposed to help with depuffing and redness and all that stuff. I love it. I I think I wanted to try it before and I didn't get it. And then I saw Mel Thompson talking about it. And so when I saw this kit, 
I was just like, okay, I'm going to try it. So that's where I got the corrector from. And then I also got their brightening powder that came with it in the kit. For concealer, I'm using, ooh, yeah, this is a matte foundation because look at my lines already. All right, we got to try to not raise these eyebrows too much. Oh, um, this is the Boing concealer, the Cakeless Concealer. This is in the shade number eight. I don't think I've used this on camera before, but I have used it and I like it. This is kind of giving me Pat McGrath concealer vibes, which is a really big claim, I know, but, but look how this is blending out. Like this concealer is so nice. I like this color. It is light, but I always use a light concealer, so nothing different. My Pat McGrath one is light. I don't know. I'm going to have to like put them on my hands and let them dry down and see side by side because I really, really think they are super similar. And this is definitely a lot cheaper. And then, as usual, I'm going to go over it with my sponge. And I have shown y'all this sponge before. This is my colored rain sponge. Absolutely in love with it to the point where for their Black Friday, they were on sale for $3 and I went and bought six, <laughs> six more of them. To set my under eyes, I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath Medium Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Powder. I'm gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna go in it lightly because this does kick up a lot of powder. And just set. Can it blur these wrinkles though? When did I become old? Everything else looks so smooth and blurred. And then here come these crazy forehead wrinkles. I like how my skin looks so far though. All right, then for the rest of my face, I don't think I've used this either and I've also had this for a while. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder in Translucent Medium. I've been liking to use powders like this. This is what the container looks like. I've been liking to use powders like this to set my face because I don't want anything really drying. I am not going to go in heavy with this because it is yellow and I feel like this foundation matches well enough that I don't need a lot of extra color so we're really just doing this as a light setting powder. Light light. My skin looks good though. All right, to bronze my face, I have talked about this, but again, I don't think I've used it. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is in the shade Sculpt. I'm just going to see. Yeah, we can contour with that. I love how smooth this is. It just sucks because this is the darkest shade and they didn't originally come out with this shade. This was one of the shades they came out with later and then it's so hard to find. Now I'm going to show y'all. I also picked up this Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder. This is in the shade 05 Deep. I don't remember if I used this or not. I think I just swatched it, but look at how dark that is. I'm going to take a little bit of this and just... Ooh, see the difference? You can see that over the other one, so you know it is dark. I love how this looks. I didn't even know her products ran this deep, so this was definitely a good surprise. Carve them out, boo. I love this bronzer. I love both of them. All right, next for blush, I'm taking this out the box. I think I did swatch it, but clearly have not used it yet. 
This is the Patrick Ta for Face Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. And this is in the shade, oh, she's different. And I'm like, yeah, boo, this is made for me, okay. I love this packaging. And I feel like, I don't know that I have, I have some high-end blushes, but I haven't bought any recently. So that's what kind of made me even more amped to get this one. This, you can start off with the cream, with the powder, and then go over it with the cream. So we're gonna do that. You can see it has a nice, whoa, flush of color. I started to say it's not super pigmented, but that second dip, yeah, she came through. Oh, I like how that looks. Y'all know me in blush. I'll probably need, let's see, I'm gonna try the same brush. This one's a little fluffy, so it might not pick up. Let me try. Uh, I can tell it's making a dent in the product a little bit, but oh yeah, I can feel it. It's wet. And that's darker. <laughs> I think we always get to this point with me and blush, but I'm never ever mad at it. That is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. For highlighter, I'm debating because I have this Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighting Palette, which you can see I've dipped in it a little bit, but I don't feel like I've played with this enough. But I also have a liquid highlighter, which I don't know that I've ever specifically just used on my channel. This is the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops in Do You. I got this as a little sample in one of the kits I got from Sephora. We might use that. Ooh, yes, we're gonna use that. <laughs> That's how you decide. So I'm just gonna put a little on the back of my hand like I just did, and I'm gonna dip my brush in that and just, oh wow. I hope this was the right way to put this on. I've seen people use their finger. I don't like doing that. I've done it and that's just not my favorite way to apply liquid. You can also use your beauty blender if you want. I think you just have to be aware of if it dries down fast, but that is blinding. I didn't expect that to have that much pigment. That is so pretty. I'm gonna finish my bottom lash line now. So I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and this is gonna be really easy because I'm going to take Mean Streak, which is the darkest shade. And then I'm gonna take Sleepwalk, which is the shimmery dark shade. And then I'm gonna go in, I wanna use Skeleton Kiss. It's the shimmery shade, the first one, that's the duo tone. And I'm just gonna take that right here on the inner corner. It looks gold in the pan, but on my eyes right now, it looks purple. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula Lash Booster. What well, says Eye Booster, liquid eyeliner. I was telling you guys about how much I love this one. And this is the waterproof one. I literally just went to my travel bag to go get this because I talk about this and I haven't used it. So I just wanted you guys to see, like look how dark this is. And it is a brush tip. I miss this liner. I haven't used it in so long because I have not been traveling. But it just goes on so smooth and so black. Oh, I missed this liner. All right, I'm gonna finish the other one and then I'll be right back. I have missed this liner, oh my God. Okay, this is good. All right, so mascara, 
I'm pulling out something different. My son used this on me in our Thanksgiving video and I was like, that's kind of nice. This is the Mossier Big, what's the name of it? Number one, Big is the new Black Mascara by Lancome. This is a sample size that I have. Um, I think I have the full size of it too. I just never used it. I try not to open too many mascaras because I don't want them to go bad. But after I saw when he used this on me, I was like, hmm, this is pretty nice. And I've heard good things about it. It's just hadn't gotten around to using it yet. So I'm legit kicking myself right now because, not Sephora, Ulta. I think they just had this mascara on sale for $10 during their Black Friday sale. And I didn't pick it up. I'm ridiculous. I already have one of these that I said I haven't even opened yet and I'm already like, oh, I wish I would have got another one on sale. My eyelashes look insane. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they are so thick. That's two coats and I am not putting on lashes because I think this looks amazing. All right, for lips, I have two options i'm not sure which one i want to use i have the mac lip pencil in night moth which is this really really dark kind of berry purple shade and then the only reason why i'm thinking i shouldn't use this one this is one of the kylie lip pencils is because i don't know the name of this one it's not on here like the side of this is literally rubbed off. Like you can't see anything. So I want to use it, but I can't tell you guys what shade it is. Mm. All right. I can't find it. I tried to Google it. I guess I'm not going to use it because I don't want to not be able to tell you what it is. So I'm going to go in with Night Moth and... This and Chestnut are the only MAC lip liners I have. I like them, but in general, I just prefer a retractable liner. So I don't use them much. This is Topped with Brandy, which is a MAC liquid lipstick. Y'all, this is so old. Like, I don't even know how old. It doesn't smell bad, though. <laughs> That's the same color as the lip liner. Oh, I like this. Why haven't I worn this? Oh my God, this is gorgeous. I don't want to put, oh, I don't want to put a gloss on top of it. Just recently got is the sugar sugar which I first I was like I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not but with this look I have right now this might be perfect it's this milky if I just put that in the center or should I leave it I kind of want to leave it but this is dry like my lips are dry dry already okay mm. oh I'm gonna have to blend that with my finger Ooh, that looks scary Hold on. <laughs> oh, I like it. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Oh, I like it. All right, to finish everything off, I'm going to use this Too Faced Prime Set and Refresh Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I got this during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. And then I also had one gifted to me by my girl, Shelly. So, that's not too bad. Y'all know how I, <laughs> how I am about these misters. I can't feel like my face is being attacked. No, that's not bad at all. Let's see. I always go back over it with my sponge just in case I have any big drops that look crazy. This is it. This is it for the final look. This is a full face of products that I have hauled recently or have maybe been having sitting that I haven't tried in a while. All let's just say 
refresh or new to me. I love how this look turns out and this palette is freaking gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Who am I with this matte look? I like it. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you love how the look turned out because I absolutely do. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. And again, please remember, if you enjoy the content and you want to see more, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you get notified when I upload twice a week. There's going to be more videos coming because I have a lot more stuff that I ordered for the holidays and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.